All right, hell yeah. We're going to go over the whole upper golly. Now, where is it? You know what I mean? This is always a good thing to do. You know what I mean? Just uh, bring up a map of the United States. You got the Appalachia. Now, it does make a little elbow right here. You know, this is kind of the corner of the Appalachia if you find this little valley. You know what I mean? And and hell yeah, you have this big old, what was this? Well, this is the Kenawa River, and the golly and the new flow into the Kenawa. And it's kind of hard to see, but if you get to this elbow right here, and in between this, there's a little lake right here this is Summersville Dam and uh, so basically you have Summersville and then here's your golly and then and then the golly hits the new river new is actually kind of hard to see but it's, it's through this you know very forested region you know it's definitely a preserve hell yes yeah, the national park but anyway so the upper golly uh, starts at Summersville and this is my way to research uh, rivers so what we also have is we pulled up the golly river rapids and you should you should watch all these videos but it's totally out of context you watch these videos you're not any smarter you have no you almost have it's almost worse because uh, it's not point of view uh, video. So uh, I, I definitely have uh, Google Earth figured out. So we're just going to rotate this around. And the other thing on Google Earth is you pull up, you pull up historic images and then booyah. And uh, I, I get to what, 9, 2013. This is kind of what it's going to be. This is a little bit low, but at least it shows. All right. So we have the put in, we have Summersville Dam. And you're going to be putting in right here, and then you're going to be going through this first wave hit, and this is entrance uh, uh, magnetic rock. So uh, basically, you know, hell yeah. And then you can just watch watch the videos along, you know what I mean? But this video is, no, we're not going to watch too many of those videos. Uh, this is just how I do research for myself because... Um, and then what I do is I, I want to know, well, hey, wh wh when's the next rapid? So if this is the entrance, um, well, like, uh, so right here, the next rapid is initiation. This is first, second, and third drop of initiation. So cool. Uh, Coolio, you know what I mean? Now I kind of know how far that is away. And then the other thing that I look for, is there anything in between? Hell yeah, that looks like a, a rapid. That looks like a rapid. That looks like a rapid. You know what I mean? Just things that I would come across and I'd be like, whoa, that, that, that totally looks like rapid. So we got three, you know, kind of unnamed rapids before initiation. So uh, let's take a look at those. You know, so after this, and, and the other thing, we, we definitely need to zoom in. So uh, if we do this and then get oriented, you always want to orient it in the direction you'll be boating. Because as I go, go, go through here, a lot of people take this wave train on the right, kind of center right, because you want to avoid this big old crashy hit. You know, you don't want to get tipped over in your kayak or your raft, even though you can punch in a raft. Else, hell yeah, you stepped up to the plate, hit the golly, hit that. Uh, but now you can kind of see where magnetic rock is and how you have this eddy. You do have time, but if you have any swimmers, they're going to die if they go that way. You know, and then you have this little ledge. So, so booyah. All right, so now on to the next thing. And, and, and then I would, uh, you know, get to here. And then w once you're finishing up this, you're going to be going down this corridor and then initiation, uh, the first, second, and third drop of initiation. But we do have these little things in between, and just go zoom in on them, you know what I mean? Because, hey, like Dane Jackson, he'll surf this wave up. A lot of the a lot of the pro kayakers will just, hey, this is a surf wave. They'll know about this, and then, you know, you'll be setting up, and kayakers will set up right here in the eddy to surf this, else you're just going to be, you know, just boating through. And you're not going to be paying attention to any of that stuff. You're just going to be thinking about insignificant. Okay, so now we're going around this corner. And then uh, I, I can just rearrange my map. Um, so yeah, this is another unnamed rapid. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But th this is a very classic wide hole. You'll probably go to the left or right. Very easy and obvious to see. Uh, it's at the at, at river level. You probably won't even notice it until you're right next to it. But hey, yeah, you know, and it just gives you the idea of like where am I? Because then you have this island. You'll go to the right of it. This is uh, keep it. What is this? I forget the name of this. It's either keep it right or keep it left or or no left slot left slot because right here there is a there is a kind of a rock right here and then you can go down this left slot right here you know, avoid this pour over or whatever. Anyway, but once you got that, now you got the first drop of initiation. Big triangle rock, I think it's either right there. I think it's just this one. One of these rocks is a triangle rock, so you'll, you'll notice that. Uh, but anyway, 
Um, and uh, and then we got the first drop. So let's let's zoom out again because now we're at initiation. The other thing that I want to do is where's the next rapid? I always want to know, you know, kind of one rapid ahead. So after first, second, third drop of initiation, we have little z. And this one might not, you know, if you don't know the next rapid, then then zoom out farther until you get to a rapid you might know. And then even the next one is just like, ah, oh, hell no, I, I don't know anything. Because uh, the next one we come to is uh, Upper Collison Creek. And then this is Lower Collison Creek. There's an island. So you'll be like, okay, yeah, I know where Lower Collison Creek is. And if you can remember this island, you can remember right around this corner is the Geek Wave. Uh, and then Lower French Kiss. Because this is kind of called Upper French Kiss, you know what I mean? And, and then, and then, in the grand scheme of things, it's just like, well, yeah. Then you have, uh, um, uh, oh, what's that called? The one up against the rock, slant rock, and then, uh, and then, uh, Buzz Boner and Significant. So sometimes it's good to do, hey, you know, like, where the hell are we? We're on the golly, and this is the first upper rapids to get to Insignificant. But let's zoom in again, and uh, this is just be real helpful. So now we know after Insignificant, we go to Little Z. You might forget about Little Z. But uh, but now you won't. Okay, so uh, so now we're gonna zoom into the first drop of insignif uh, first drop of initiation. Hell yeah, just kind of work, work kind of on the left side of this hole might be might be a wise thing to do. You know, just go and then then play it safe. Uh, but anyway, because after the first drop, hell yeah, you have these goalpost rocks, and then you just stay to the way the hell over here. These will look like two goalposts. And there's kind of like two sets of them, uh, but if you're anywhere near this right goalpost rock, you're 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 kind of setting yourself up for disaster if you're a kite. Just, just stay away from it. Even in a raft, just just get the hell way the hell over here, and, and then just go down the left side of this wave train. Don't even hit this fun little pile until you know what's going on. Treat this like a danger area, and be like, what's the very safest thing to do? It's come way far up against this boulder and then just just send it right down the middle but don't aim towards the right the danger spot is right there that little black dot so you you would have to be behind this rock to actually probably move your way over there or for the love of god why would you be getting right left to right momentum everything is hey get to the left and then just straight forward down the bottom but anyway and then you got the third drop you got the hole at the top right here you got to go left or right I don't know, you know what I mean? You choose, you do you. Uh, and it's just really straightforward, but kind of chunky. Probably steeper right at the right. You can see that from even these Google Earths that, hey, you, you, you have like rock, you have a rock outcropping, and then you, it's probably a steeper, chunkier drop than just kind of smoothly going from left to right momentum uh, down this little channel. All right, so now we're going to be zooming out because we got that little Z, which we re-remembered. And do we have anything in between here and little Z? You know, not much. You know, I mean, just something little there, but that, that's nothing. But anyway, so now now we'll zoom into little Z. And uh, we'll be, as we approach the right, that's why you want to rotate these in Google Earth. This is what we're going to approach. And this one, you know what I mean, watch videos of people coming into little Z. It just looks like a boulder jumble. You, you really... Yeah, that's the hard thing about the golly. It's hard to be like, well, where, where? That's why you kind of want to come in, like prior. And even if you watch this video on the little Z, you're, you're, you're not gonna. It's, it's a downstream view looking up. So if you're downstream, like on this rock where the, I think the kayaker's probably just like on this rock right here, uh, looking up, you're, you're really not gonna see this wall of boulders that you're look. You know what I mean? Everything. Some of these rapids in the golly just look like a, a maze of boulders, and you're like, where do I go? But anyway, but if you know, if you look, if you have this view, hell yeah, it's just super simple right down the middle. Here is a punchy hole, so you probably want to be to the left of this. And then here is the signature pyramid rock. Sometimes this rap is called pyramid rock. And it's long, but on the upstream face, it looks like a pyramid. So booyah, there you go. And uh, that's a little Z. And you can come over here to this pocket. It looks like a dead end pocket. You know, you're driving up against a wall of boulders, but you can drop this little slot right there. But there is high, the golly is, high, the upper golly is high gradient, where it's just, uh, it is that, it's like, I can't really tell what's at the bottom of things. You know, you get that, like, stair-step approach, pool drop approach of the upper golly, that if you're on western rivers or rivers where you can kind of see top to bottom, um, 
it's kind of a different approach for the upper gully. Especially on these first upper rapids, too. They're a little higher gradient. Okay, so we have little z, and then, uh, and then let's go back to that island, because we have, so one of these is upper Collison Creek, that's here, and then we have lower Collison Creek, signature island, and then a uh, class three big undercut boulder on the left, so that's kind of the signature there. Um, two unnamed rapids, because we do have upper Collison Creek, and uh, Collison Creek is coming in on the left right here, but you do have this cool spillway from the dam. That's kind of neat, you know what I mean? They kind of uh, built that in, probably let it release, you know, that's why it looks like it's something went down there. Anyway, and then two unnamed rapids. So, you know, it's just kind of good to know where there's some unnamed rapids because even... I don't know. Look, look at this unnamed rapid. So kayakers will go right in between these two slot rocks. And hell yeah, you know, Dane Jackson will do a little move in there. Watch a video of Dane Jackson. He'll at least include this no-named rapid in his footage uh, of, uh, you know, the last one. The, the golly got ten times as many moves. And, uh, you know what I mean? And then just, just more unnamed, take it down the right side, whatever. Okay, but it's just good to do that, have that visual to be like, oh, in between in between Little Z and Upper Collison Creek, there's two unnamed rapids. Else you're just not going to know what the hell's what until you get to this island. Uh, but anyway, and then you got Upper Collison Creek. Uh, some of the signature features that you will notice in the Upper Gully are Upper Rocks. So as you're approaching these rapids, you'll be, you'll notice these rock outcroppings. And you'll be like, whoa, okay. Um, but then down here... There is this rock that's kind of uh, not soup, you know, you really can't see it from these Google Earth, so it's good to watch point of view from kayakers because you will notice this rock first and then this rock down here for sure. Uh, so that'll be kind of your signature for this uh, upper Collison Creek wave train. Big hit right there. That's a fun little hit. Hell, hell yeah. And it's just good to know from footage of people going over that in a raft and then what the bird's eye view is because we'll look at other features on the on the golly and, and then compare them all right so then you have uh then you have lower calls and craig easy class three wave train in dane jackson video hell yeah, he's trying to do a kick flip off like three waves in here you know may maybe this one I, I don't know probably that one that one and then another one you know what i mean J just to get it in but then even from even from doing that like where we do the I, I would zoom out and be like okay this is upper Collison Creek this is lower and then we already did lower so what's the next rapid well I would just do this and then because you're going to be coming out of the rapid like this and you're going to be like oh there's a right hand corner and then that's going to be your uh, geek wave here's your eddy for your geek wave here is the main wave and then here's the the wave on the left and then you have a uh, uh, upper lower french kiss uh, rapid okay so now we're going to be zooming in on the geek wave and once you turn this corner you're going to be faced this way you know what i mean so this is what you're going to be see coming into the geek wave a lot of kayakers in here if you if you're not going to run into them here you got to go wide out outside and then cut back and catch that eddy then go surf it up and at the bottom um here for upper french kiss hell yeah you have uh it's kind of technical, you know what I mean? It is definitely work your way through. Stay away from this outcropping. Holy Toledo. And we, we can even get a different view. It's just like, yeah, look at that. So you wouldn't want to go over this into that. See how you have like a pour over in that's backed up by a flat rock. If your body chalked in there, that's just, that's just the places on the golly where it's just like you see a wave that you don't know about, you haven't heard about of in a video of somebody hitting, like, stay away, man. You know, only hit the signature features that you know people are hitting. This would be classic. It'd be like, whoa, just stay away from that gnarly looking. If it's whitewater and you're just going for whitewater, this is this is the place to get chalked up. Okay, so that's lower French kiss. What's the next rapid? Like we said, it's slant rock. It's just right there. But even slant rock, you know what I mean? This is where it's just like... Uh, yeah, just a, you're going to just see a huge jumble of boulders, but it's just nice to know, hey, this thing finishes all the way over on the right, so you got to go from the center all the way to the right, and that's why we're just doing the Google Earth. This is the best way to research rapids, and then uh, I, I get the view, because we're going to be exiting slant rock, rock like this. What's the next rapid? Well, it's, it's, it's a buzz boner, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, and if we want to zoom ahead, we got insignificant right around that corner. Okay, so we have uh, slant rock to Bud's boner. We're going to zoom in on Bud's. 
Okay, so hell yeah. Now we got Buzz Boner. So if you, even if you didn't know anything about Buzz Boner, you'd be like, well, what's the pass through? Actually, you would want to know something because you don't want to go down this left side. That's the other thing on the upper gully. I'm sure you could find your way, but it's such a slot, like a getting slotted, you know, you know, getting slotted and pinned is also a concern, especially in a kayak, you know, over the undercuts that are over in the shallows. Like the gully is about going where the water is. See, the water is here, and the water is here, and the water finishes here. You know what I mean? I guess you could drop behind this. There's no reason why you couldn't come here and then probably hit that, because uh, the left run is hit this slot, and then the kayaker slot... Well, well, the kayaker slot is over here. Yeah, right here is the kayaker slot. If you go, if you go to the right of this, that's the alternative for rafts. So if you're going to take rafts over here, then you would finish uh, right here. But the kayaker slot, it's either this nasty thing in between these two rocks, or it's just to the right side. Uh, but definitely in a raft, you gotta you gotta enter here and then work behind this and then finish down that channel. But that's the technical line. Uh, the straightforward line is over here, but all this all this goes right into this boulder. So and and you can't you got guard rocks on this, so you can't just go left to right momentum. And this is kind of a, a tippy little hole in a raft, so you can't be angled sideways. So typically people, you know, go forward and back it up or get some right momentum and then hit this at a wonky angle. You could lose a passenger here, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Uh, and then they're just working back to the right over to this channel. <clears throat> and then usually with a strong left to right momentum to get into this pocket. But it ain't no thing to go left. This is actually where you kind of want to go. Just spend less energy, hit the left side of this, and get to the left side of Bud's hole. All right. Anyway, so now we're going to be zooming out, and we got insignificant. The name of the game is just like, hey, we just want to know rapid order. But I know the upper golly enough where we can kind of go over some of the lines. So uh, now, now, now we'll get <clears throat> now we'll get insignificant and rotated how it should. And uh, yeah, insignificant is cool because uh, if, from from this view, it's like hell yeah, the white water's here. The white water's here. You know what I mean? Th th those are those are two classic things you can look at from a topo, and now you can look at lines. Well, I, I don't. You know what I mean? It looks like there actually is a nice line. This is the out outside line to hit the um. Uh, the, there there is the gap over here, the little slot, or, or the main line is. Um, I mean the other. This is your this is your white water right here. So you either have, and then here's a rock outcropping right here. So your all your left lines finish to the left of this outcropping and go down this one chute. All the others hit this V, and then this is where you have your right line or left line because you got to get either right or left of the big hole. Um, and, and then everything finishes down. I've made videos on this, so we're just going to be moving along. But hell yeah, um, and then your two surfways. So even right here, you can see your two surfways very distinctly. And uh, from topos, you can be like, well, let's say I got through. I could eddy out on this right side. That might be a place to do it. But most people eddy out on the left because you're going to be surfing, and it gives the opportunity to surf. Um, and the other place to eddy out is down here at the bottom. This is where people are going to go deep because the whole river channels, and you have two strong eddies. So the only way for the flow to go is down. I want you to notice that if you have a lake of water and you have current going into it and you see no and there's no flow out, well, all that water has to be underneath the surface. And that's where you're going to go if you fall out right there. OK, so hell yeah. So we have insignificant. And then the next rapid is screaming S turn. Now, and then we should probably zoom ahead. So we have screaming S and then we have pick a slot and then we have iron curtain named for these iron cliffs right here. So you can see those as you go around this corner. Anyway, so hell yeah. So we, we got uh, end of insignificant to screaming S turn. Now this is the one in the video that this, uh, an R2 just heads right over here. And just, this is a little drop though. You know, don't don't mistake uh, that the golly doesn't have ledge drop and, and, and pool drop, uh, like ledge drops. It's, it's got a lot of these ledgy drops, which, you know, are kind of blind. You're going over here blind and you're going to, you know, anytime you're kind of dropping, you, it's sometimes hard to get a vantage point of, of downriver and stuff like that. But anyway, the, that, that's where you just plop and drop. That's the class two from the Golly video. Else, th this is your signature. One, once you, once look where all the water is. It goes from left over to the right and then finish down here. You can just avoid all these holes just by taking the green line 
all the way through. See, there you go. But anyway, so this isn't the one to mess with pocket holes. That's going to be your next one. Pick a slot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got all messed up. Okay, now we got a vertical view. So we're going to zoom out to pick a slot. There it is. And then, hell yeah, just a nice little jaunt to pick a slot. Okay, now we're at pick a slot. The kayakers will take this little, you know, little channel, channel, and then kind of have a fun time down the left. It looks like you, it, even in a raft, you could just go this. See, that's where from a topo, you'd be like, well, in a raft, in a little R2, I could just go down this and then just work my way all the way to the left side and make this class two. You know, you, you do have, it, you, yeah, this channel goes. Or you could even just drop right here, steeper drop into a punchier thing, but you're not going to get you know, kind of funked around. And, but the classic is to enter here and then everything feeds to the right. Um, so you're going to go probably right here in this little horseshoe. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and you, here's a rock right here. You probably, I don't know, you do you, but you know what I mean? I think you actually go, most of the boats go left of this rock and then drop in, even though you could drop in right here and then drop over. So, uh, let's get a, this is always one of those interesting ones where it's just like, yeah, so yeah, you definitely have a rock there to get hung up on, but you could, I don't know, most people pause and then just drop this way. Um, but anyway, um, and then it is, it's got a fun one. If you know the hell what you're doing, and then here, here's a big old, um, pile. Oh, I, I kind of forget. Uh, but yeah, you can take this left, and uh, oh, he, here's a big rock. So if you, if you go into this rock and then surf right, that's kind of a fun move. You can go over here, hit this rock, kind of ride up onto it, surf it to the right, and then finish down this slot or this slot. They both fit rafts, but it's real tight. That's the technical move. All right, so uh. Then, you know, even from these topos, you can kind of see that the next thing is iron ring. And from, uh, sorry, from this view, you can see that, whoa, there is two distinct channels. This is what they talk about here. If you finish, pick a slot and go this way, it's the long way around to get to there. You know what I mean? This adds up. Where if you're just right here, booyah, this is so much faster. This is the race line. So even that comment in some of the video, you're like, what the hell does that even mean? Well, yeah, you go all the way around because you got to get around this rock band, even that fall flow. Um, you know, you can probably work your way through, but it's just a little slower. So anyway, all right, now we got iron curtain. We're going to do this. Hell yeah. It's super straightforward, some upper, you know, some upper big sticky, sticky waves, you know what I mean? Just, you know. but anyway, the big, the big old, the big old waves at the bottom, pretty fast and tongue-like. So there, there you go. And kayakers can catch the eddy right there. All right. So what would be the next, next rapid after Iron Ring? Uh, Iron Curtain, I'm sorry. Next rapid after Iron Curtain, whoa, is Pillow. And you have one, two, three, uh, like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There's four of them. Okay, yeah. Somebody says, yeah, these unnamed rapids in between pillow, any, meeny, miny, mo. Um, so we won't spend too much time, but we'll at least look. Hey, look at this one. So you get a little channel on the left. And you just kind of a maze of rock. This is where you can kind of get lost. So left, left. Um, looks like you go center, right? Not you're going to remember that, but just kind of ha having this as an image in your mind of kind of what these look like. Um, you know, and then it's just kind of helpful. Okay, so now we have. Pillow Rock. Um, you know, classically, people pull over on the right, walk, walk up, and then kind of scout on the left side. So it's a little bit hard moving on this right side because it's in the trees. Yeah, this is where the spectators go because they, they have hiked down from Fairfax Ferry. Always good to know where the hell you are. This would be one. It's not an ex uh, exit point, especially for anyone injured, because it's 300 steep ass feet to the top of this, and it's it's like a it's like a half a mile hike out of here on the steepest like non-maintained trail. It's just straight up, but it is this is how you park in this parking lot, go to this corner, and you can work your way down to here, and then it kind of you work your way right down to there. Anyway, so we have Pillow Rock, and a lot of videos on that. Um, but just from the topo, what can you glean? Is that typically you're going to be entering on this right side. You got these boulders blocking kind of this left path. But here, here's your left path. And uh, your inertia 
it, I think it's like, it must be like right there. Yeah, inertia is right here. Because if you go to the right side of inertia, like I do not mess with the right side of it. Do not hit this early and go to the right side of inertia. Low flow, man, this is soup. This is, just looks nasty. It's like a cave on. It just looks undercut. It just looks like you would be going underneath that rock. That's a, that's a very visual scene you can see at low water. I made a video. It's just like, I, I don't. You know what I mean? I, I don't care about flipping on the upper gully, but I'm not going to put myself in a position where a flip is going to cause me. Or I'm not going to like paddle away from big waves that I think might flip me. You're going to put yourself into a more dangerous position. So think about that when you're doing the upper gully. It's just like sometimes it's safer just to run the meat uh, and then the classic lines. Okay, so hell yeah. And then the room of doom right there and then pillow rock. All right, so what would be after pillow? Well, you do have kind of like, what is it, helicopter rock? Uh, I think, well, this is just the big group rock that people kind of group up on. Um, but after it is scale. So that's going to be our next rapid. Oh, okay, it's right down there. So there you go, scales, because you have a rock here and a rock there, upper and lower. You can go left or right on the upper and left or right at the bottom. So it's kind of like scales, maybe. You can go either way. And then... Uh, and, but maybe the two rocks are also like the two scales of those old-fashioned scales. Anyway, so let's look at these uh, unnamed rapids. Because, you know, it's something. Probably work your way to the left. There you go. And this is the Dane Jackson, you know, do your little thing off of. And uh, that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go to scales. But at least we got that bird's eye view of kind of where... Um, but yeah, we, we should get a... We, because no one knows what the hell scale, that's like the least known, you know, it's like, what the hell, because you're just so concentrated on pillow, or maybe what's before pillow, that uh, once you get to a big rapid, you might mistaken what the hell's after, you know what I mean, classically, what the hell's after um, the lost paddle? Well, you have Conestoga. Yeah, no one knows that, you know what I mean? Because uh, you, you got Conestoga and then Shipwreck. But anyway, so let's keep it one rapid at a time. After Pillow, you have Scales. Scales to Bubble Rock, which has got the classic kayak bubble rock that you can kind of boof off of. Cool, you can do a boof. Right here is Hungry Mother. If you're in a raft, hell yeah, surf it up. And then you have kind of what I would call Meadow View 1 and Meadow View 2. Meadow View 1, because it's just all Meadow View in here. This one classically gets called Meadow View. But if this one doesn't have a name, you're not going to pay attention to it. But this is the one after... Um, if you fall out at, uh, this Hungry Mother Hole, hell yeah, you have this huge pool, but you got to swim left. There's an island right here. If you swim to the right, you could undercut and die under that rock right there. And then the, kind of the same thing on this meadow view. Sure, you go to the right, uh, but you do have some rocks that uh, you don't want to just crush into at the bottom. But look, look at this. There, you have less flow and kind of easier to avoid. Now, this left side of meadow... Um, it, let's call it Meadow View 2, uh, is the S-turn, two droppy S-turn wrap. There's there's really not too much footage of this. M maybe this is what what's in the video uh, of the, um, you know, if you come here and do uh, um, Meadow View, um, this might have that. This might, yeah, th this has that left side. Yeah, it's two drops. And, you know, and if you don't think of this footage as being drops, it's like, no, this is significant drops. And then, you know, just classic, and we'll, we'll get to that one. But let's, uh, let's back it up. So we're going to do scales. Got ahead of ourselves. All right, so hell yeah, so scales. So we'll, all we do is just zoom in here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's got the classic right entrance, which sets you up for just a real easy move right to left, get in front of that rock. And then, and then here's a hell of a fun surf wave, I think, even for a raft. So keep that in mind. Kayakers will be surfing it up. But people like to finish down this right side. It's clunky, though, in a raft over here. you got to go right in between there, and it's, it's, it's clunky. You know what I mean? It's not the smoothest. So if it's, you know... So there you go. So th th that's that. And then you scales to, uh, what did I say? Bubble view. I mean, bubble bubble rock. So even this, you know what I mean? It's like, how, how the hell are you going to memorize this? But nah, you just go down the right side. It's a big jumble of boulders at low flow. This is that tunnel of love in, in that video on the upper, uh, for the, is, you know, all these I'm referencing the videos that are shown here. We're not going to watch them. You can watch them. But what I'm saying is, unless you have context, and, and the best context is using this overhead view with point of view, with a kayaker's view of the river. Because 
it's just it's just weird what you don't see on the river um, but this does not lie. So this footage, when you're looking at a topo, you know, these rocks ain't going to move. This river's old as hills, you know what I mean? And so none of these rocks are moving ever. Um, and you got a dam behind it, so it's only seeing 13,000 at its max. Anyway, so we have, uh, yeah, so the, the bubble, the bubble thing's right there. And then it comes into Hungry Mother. Hungry Mother's right there. You can set up on this eddy. You can catch this eddy before you do it. Uh, booyah. And then here's your recovery eddy. Okay. So after Hungry Mother, we'll get a... Get a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get zoomed out. Yeah. So if you if you swam Hungry Mother, yeah, you got this upper... Yeah, you, you don't go to the right side of this. Look at this. This whole channel just finishes into death. And and no client is going to be able to swim left of that. Hopefully they just don't die. You know what I mean? So th th there you go. And then, you know, this is just, just a little... At least you know what it is. Because in a raft, you might be going through and it's just like, well, I've never even heard of this rapid. And that's, on a river trip, that gets me. It's just like, I do not... It, it makes me lose my mind. It makes me feel like, well, did I, did I take the wrong wrong channel? You know what I mean? It feels like you're on a different river. So anyway, so there you go. Meadow view one to meadow view two. And this has that uh, classic right entrance. Um, you know, just classically go over here and you can easily work your way um, to the left. Get in front of that rock, no big deal. But you do have these big rocks. You don't want to go wrapping on them. So you got to... You got to be hit, hitting the fun stuff. And then this one is suckers go right. If you go over here in this right channel, either right there or right here, I forget what it is. But if you go over here, your boat will not fit. It's probably that channel right there. You just your, your raft won't fit in there, so don't do that. And then here's the S-turn drops. You're going to be coming in here, dropping, working to your right, and then coming here and doing that second drop. So that would be your little S-turn. All right, so now you have the Meadow River which uh, I did, Meadow River comes in, only a significant tributary of the Gali. It can put in some juice, though, you know what I mean? So if this is juice, and it'll be low on the upper till here, because uh, they're trying to regulate kind of a 3,000 CFS from here on out, you know, so if this is running a 1,000, it could be lower on the upper. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we have... Uh, Lost paddle. But why we're doing this is like, it's just so hard to go over the upper. Um, e even just the upper within like a short amount of time. So we're going to take probably a half hour, probably a little bit more. But we're almost, we're almost there. You know what I mean? We're definitely more than halfway. So we have the, yeah, so I guess we, we have to zoom out because this is, this is a substantial rapid. You have the first drop, second drop, and then third drop, and then fourth drop. So the, the first drop is kind of that wide, you know, you'll enter down this right channel, though. Um, you could do an alternate over on the left. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything alternate on the guy. Like I said, you just don't know what you don't know. Even if it's just class three, but it's a different line that you don't know about because there is some alternative lines on this second drop. You can go behind, you can take this slot over here or even earlier and then go behind this uh, Hawaii Five O first drop, like I just wouldn't. I would just, I would just buck up. And you signed up for the upper golly. Yes, yeah, there's biggest hit hits in here. You might flip your boat, sure, but uh, I would be, I'd be rather swimming down the center, easily avoiding an undercut to the right or left with my body, than getting chalked up in a kayak in some sort of move that I wasn't aware of, uh, because you still have a lot of pinning opportunities on the golly that just wouldn't be fun especially in a kayak so anyway so hell yeah so you have the first drop um kind of working your way through here this wave does this wave pinches up against uh this rock right here and it gets a little spicy you know you can so you kind of want to you know be kind of more towards the center but that can throw you off because once you're over here you want to work your way back to the left so yeah so you're going to be entering on the left but uh, this this wave can mess you up, and then and then you this wave can mess you up too. You want to be kind of on this. If this is a V, you want to be on hitting the left side of this, so you're just kind of right in between the eddy water and the wave train, and definitely avoid going up against this rock. You know what I mean? That's undercut, and you just don't want to be hitting this 
wave train and then going up against that because you're just kind of setting yourself up for success for this Hawaii 5-0 second drop of initiation because you want to be upright through the first drop that's for sure and then yeah the second drop even here you know you have these you can see it hugely shallow you know just rocks where if you take if you take the kayakers line over here to try to avoid the meat uh, of the bottom of uh, second draw or this Hawaii Five O after the Hawaii Five O wave, just whatever's below it. Uh, yeah, if you go over here and tip over, that's where you're gonna knock yourself unconscious and drown anyway. So I mean, if that's if that's the deal, so like, well, why don't you just hit the meat? You signed up for it, you know what I mean? Go go build your skill. That's what I'm saying on the upper golly. It's like I I, I don't yeah that that's the thing. It's like I mean, if you're making these choices. Yeah, that, 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 that's just, yeah, it's like you, you almost need to be class 5 mindset to make quality choices when your skills aren't class 5. You know what I mean? So that's what that's where I think I can actually provide really good resource. Like, I'm not a class 5 boater. I don't, I, I don't even try to boat hard class 4. But I do see how class 5 is run, and I study it a lot, where it's just like, I, I do have that mindset where it's just like, I, that's where I think I can be valuable for the information community on like rafting in general. But because, well, you know, I don't have that. I, I definitely, uh, yeah, I don't have the class five rivers under my belt at all, not even hard class fours. Um, but with that mindset, no, I, I can definitely, I, yeah, I'm just repeating what I'm saying. But anyway, so there you go. Second, second drop, uh, of lost paddle here's your six pack rock you typically go to the left of it because it's you sets it's like something to work towards hey i'm upright in the bottom of this and i can get but you know who knows where you're gonna go um but just know that this is severely undercut you got time to move away from it but you definitely need to be all in the boat if you're not telling people to swim away from that undercut holy hell and then you have the third drop right here should be super easy just don't go for the meat even a kayaker will get surfed in there and be like what the and a raft will flip and you just another another place where you don't want to flip first and first and third drop because you got nastiness below those two second and then here's your fourth drop you know so there you go uh don't mess up this third drop you can go left no big deal but typically people go right and try to hit this eddy um i i i yeah, 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 and and the left might be a little squirrelier and a difficult, more of a committing move than just punching this lateral on the right and then having an eddy to work towards. All right, so hell yeah. So now now you have a fourth drop. Typically, well, I I think typically if it's your first time and you if you're if you're truck and trailer following some, I, I would just go over to the right. But no, I mean the right line is kind of a. It, I mean, so you're gonna be, you'd be going over to this right line and then kind of shifting left and then back to the right. You know what I mean? So like the Wade the Wade Harrison move is just to like drop this over here and then just drop through here. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, in a kayak, but in, in a raft you're gonna be kind of kind of doing a little S move through here. Um, you definitely have to drop this, get left, hit this, because the the line over here is to you have to drop over here along this shallow ledge. Don't mess that up because now you have to work all the way down this chute right here. You know what I mean? And that might be misleading, but hell no, do not think it's the second chute or for the love of God going all the way over here to the left because everything up against this 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 little bracket is you're going to be your death zone. Side of fatality, a you know, swimmer just swam over here and died. You know what I mean. So th this is this is that uh, flip of a coin deal. Now kayakers will run this shoot. You know if you know what you're doing and it's not your first time down the gully and you're trying to, you know, tackle all the shoots. Yeah, this is a runnable shoot, um, but it's probably the most hazardous place in, in the whole upper gully. So there you go. They're just super sieved out. It's just one of those things that if you get stuck, flipped upside down, you ain't going over these rocks. You're going to get funneled and sieved through them. There's no possible way kind of over them without strong boofs. So, I mean, just a lot can go wrong. Just the fact that a, a swimming body is screwed is absolutely insane. So anyway, 
Uh, so here's your slot, drop it, and it really does push you all the way over here to the right where it, you get so much right momentum that you could just, in a small raft, catch this eddy, catch your breath. So that's what kayakers can do is just like, hell yeah, and then and then work your way back because obviously here's your exit guarded by all these boulders. And, uh, yeah, you just, I mean, if you swim the mail slot, you can swim the mail slot. It's like there typically shouldn't be a, a death zone over here. Um, probably just don't swim up against this, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, is what it is. You're, you're trying not to swim, and you're trying to finish classically, uh, through that little slot right there. All right, hell yeah. So we, we beat that one to death. And, and the whole idea is just to get an overview of what the rapids are. So after Lost Paddle is Conestoga. And I know Conestoga because it's a known hazard. It is one of the, one, one of the four main hazards of the Upper Gully. With magnetic rock right at the entrance, lost paddle, uh, Conestoga. You know, let's say this is the third one so far. And, uh, you know, surf waves up top, big diagonal, you know, rocky. You're just going to see a jumble of rocks, but you'll have this little channel. And then uh, it's got a finish. Now, everything feeds you over here to the right, but this one, hell yeah, just get all the way back to the left and stay alive. Because this hole right here might look inviting but this is your class five even the class five kayakers are like like working real hard to get right to left momentum or left to right just to get through and around this but this is the probably a side of fatality i don't know but this is the one that's it's backed up by a rock so it is a pour over backed up by a rock where if you get body sir if your body if you swim in this you, you'll just go right underneath the surface of a rock and this is I think about this all the time and uh, Yeah, it's just yeah, especially if I'm surfing holes You're like well, why is this hole a nice sticky hole? It might be backed up by a rock and if you if you body surf and get sucked You know, yeah, just a bad deal. So that's where that is um, Yeah, e even over on the right's probably safer But anyway, you're, you're trying to go from right to left don't mess it up go all the way to the left all right, next thing up is Shipwreck Rock, so we're going to take a look at that. So we, we, we just exited Conestoga. We got Shipwreck Long, so just a small little shallow corner, and then Long. Now, now we should zoom out because, hell yeah, so we have Shiprock, Iron Ring, Keegan's Falls, Double Dilemma, and then uh, um, Fingernail Rock, and then Sweets. Sweet, so we're basically, we're basically out. All right, so Shipwreck Rock, we're going to zoom in for that. Okay, hell yeah. And, and this one, just like classically do the left. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Do the left line, don't mess it up. Uh, and then and then work your way from left to right. You know what I mean? Uh, this is one of those things where it's just like, if you're kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm timid of Shipwreck Rock and I'm going to do this right line. Well, this is where you're going to tip everyone out of the boat and the boat's going to get hung up on a rock and you're all going to be swimming. And you're not going to take it seriously and someone's going to swim to shipwreck. Uh, or have fun over here on this left channel. You know, see how that's run. Don't mess that up. And then take your time. Or, you know, work hard. But look at all this green water. You could be taking green water from once you pass this rock all the way to the right channel. No big deal. You know, trying to work your way through this upper center right stuff is just is, is you tip over i've seen a boat like tip 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 up on that rock you know what i mean in some footage so yeah it's just just one of those things just like people potentially make bad decisions on how to easily run a difficult rapid you know what i mean that because because of fear i think you know what i mean and then you just come up with like dumb way to do it not the safest all right but yeah hell yeah shipwreck and then you're going to be exiting down the right side or you know what i mean sure you do you do the pro move just know that it's backed up by a you want to see these rocks i mean holy toledo look at that rock you can't get by that rock you know what i mean so don't make your move early else look at this if you bump up against that you're just going to go right into the meat so let's look at that so i mean if you are doing this shipwreck rock you want to start i mean if you're going to get some right to left mojo you got to be i would be starting over here and timing it just for, i don't know no it's, it's more of a it's more of a simple game of drift and and drift and momentum at the last minute but just know that hell yeah you don't want to get bumped yeah, it's just a real tight line through there. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, so we got shipwreck, and uh, that takes us to Iron Ring. And, and look, we 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 even have uh, 
in between Shipwreck and Iron Ring, you have an unnamed rapid, you know what I mean? Uh, but here's Iron Ring, here's going to be your Eddie where you're going to scout, and uh, and then hell yeah. And then I'm showing you this, because you could do this with any river, you know what I mean? I, I really, I mean, uh, that, that, that's, that, that's, I'm just showing you from my perspective of, you know, knowing a little bit about the Gali River, of how you can research rivers. That's the whole point. Research them yourself. So hell yeah. So you have this kind of entrance thing here, wide, wide little easy pour over. But yeah, catch the eddy, do your do your uh, scouting, and then make your move on iron, iron. Yeah, obviously it, it's a left to right, but but uh, this this rock right here is so fascinating. This this has that cave underneath that low water kayakers will literally paddle underneath this rock so it does jut out just the way it's all these rocks are so fascinating how uh yeah they're they're uh, they can be flat and they can be uh um you know just jumbled historically jumbled in place and eroded but mainly just jumbled into place where you can have vacancies underneath the rocks so easily so that, that that's kind of the fascinating thing um with, with the rock type okay so hell yeah and after iron curtain i mean I, iron ring what you want to know is surprise hole uh, well you want to know keegan's falls and surprise hole there, there's some kind of dangerous stuff after iron ring well one is just keegan's falls is like if you go to the left side you could die because it's a real sticky pour over and that's just another known hazard that might be the fourth hazard of uh the upper golly anyway so uh and then you have right here before you get to keegan's falls you have you have a, a, a decent hole called Surprise Hole. You know, this thing comes out of nowhere. You either go to the left or right of it, but you know what I mean. It's just one of those things where it's just like, if, you, if you'll, you'll go right into it. So there you go. And then once you get to Keegan's Falls, take this right side. And you should be able to stand up in your raft and see an outflow. You should be able to see this tongue. So if you forget, oh, is it left of Keegan's Falls or right of Keegan's Falls? That would be the nastiest thing because even on my, I'm not even going to confuse you because we're just looking at it. So yeah, hell yeah. Look at that right side. You could stand up and see that this tail wave down the right side to indicate like if you if you because if you you work your way from the bottom if I stand up and see a tail wave on this right side I can work my connect the dots all the way up to be like yep this is the channel so anytime you come to like a ledge drop where you can't see the bottom stand up and maybe you can get an indication of tail waves and that's going to be the safest way to go through historically okay you know just from historical floods and erosion and, and the way rapids are formed all right so we're almost there after keegan's falls we got a little bit but we have uh we have finger no no we got double dilemma i always forget about double dilemma and it's is this serious class four we had uh you know uh rest in peace character from missoula i think you know montana my home state came out here and just, just it's a classic story of just like there's a story of of all of our stories of, of running rivers is just like we have an idea of what we want to do and like what we you know and it's just like this is so this poor this this classic drop over here i don't even consider a classic just it's just it's there it probably has a name but it's it's real gnarly and it's a chance for vertical pin and kayaks and and uh, it's not a fluke situation. This kayaker got vertically pinned, and any kayaker could get vertically pinned. And uh, had an airway for quite a while, but uh, it just—it was just—it was hard. They couldn't rescue. They couldn't unpin the kayak. Just one of those nasty situations. But rafters go over here all the time. Even in the even in the video, you know, you, a raft goes over here. It's just—it's the one that's just not worth it. So there are certain things to like. Hey. Not like go go catch the room of doom. I actually, you know, uh, you you can get too much downtime there. But uh, classically, there I don't think you're gonna get caught up in anything. Uh, you're just gonna get hell of a lot of downtime. But yeah, go catch the room of doom, and then you know, notch that on your belt. You know, instead of instead of stuff that's like this. You know what I mean? It's just like ah. Uh, like the the danger factor now is known on like or a, a risk like this you know instead of some some other thing that you might think is hard like harder and more gnarly might be actually safer so just keep that in mind but anyway double dilemma kind of a, a tricky little find your way at the top and uh, i kind of forget what 
you do have uh yeah, it's like when you go on this top, there is there's there's like a rock that kind of messes you up. See, I I, I forget, but uh, uh, I I just remember that it's like, well, oh, this hole, like yeah, in in, in a video, this hole just like flips someone out. So it's that 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 was interesting. And this stuff's kind of blocked over here. But so anyway, this is the classic. It's just like, hey, what if I'm looking at a topo, what do I see? Where's the green water? So I got green water right here, green water right here, green, green, green. So it's classically if I want to avoid everything I can, I can go from this left side and work all the way over to the right. And uh so class so what I think a double dilemma is like the catch two eddies, you know what I mean? If I'm thinking of if I'm just trying to make the acronym of like, hey, there's two of something, it's, it's named for double D, you know what I mean, double D, uh, we, we get it. But uh, um, if I'm over here, I kind of have to start over on this far left, but I, wanna, I want to quickly uh, work my way to the right to kind of, I'm, I'm working to catch the eddy behind these, and that sets me up to avoid this sticky hole that could uh, kick people out of my raft. And then the next one is I want to get behind this kind of outcropping. So I'm gonna gonna come in here on the left, work a little bit to the right. I think that's the move. You can watch a video to refresh yourself. But then, uh, but just just in general, that's how I remember double dilemma. Two out outcroppings, and the easiest line is gonna be, hey, kind of get to the behind the first outcropping drift, and then uh, get behind the second, and that's gonna carry me all the way over to the right side. And then I don't have to worry about anything. Or there, there is, you can just drop down this left, but you can get hung up. See, if you have issues at this uh, top wave that can pull out swimmers and stuff, um, your whole raft is going, it will literally go for these wrap rocks right around here. And they mentioned that in the video. All right, hell yeah. So now we're going to do, uh, so we have this to fingernail rock. Now fingernail, um... Yeah, that's fingernail. Uh, it has a, uh, you know, in some videos, it's got this cool left hand, like, channel and drop over here. Or just keep it, uh, you know, kind of find your way at the top and, and work. But do this this thing is deadly undercut. You know, if you go anything up against it, your whole raft and crew is going to go under and never surface. So uh, that's just kind of a spooky thing. And just imagine it. Your, your boat, like, goes towards it, hits it flips everyone gets flushed underneath it and, and is never seen again goes to anyway so anyway and then you have a one uh one unnamed rapid it's called like nutrisweet because you have sweets falls right here hell yeah and we're basically done with the arbor Golly. so we did it that was pretty good um, but hell yeah, and then just classic lines of the upper gully. You'll be hit this channel. Don't catch this eddy water too much because it's just a tractor beam. Look at this. This current actually drives you this way. Everything's driving to the left, so it's just late, 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 late. And then you got to make a left to right anyway, uh, or or just kind of turn. Uh, well, no, no, you want to be a, uh, you want to be aiming left because it's because like this lateral is aiming this direction. So you don't want to be aiming left to right because you'll you'll tip over you'll tip over upstream upstream, yep. So yeah, you're gonna be a uh, yeah. Everything is late. Do not catch this eddy, and then uh, and then you won't you you would be better off having momentum right to left. You know what I mean? Be over the energizer hole. You know, be be more worried about being over the energizer hole. Um, or no, less worry. Yeah, you want to be over the energizer hole and then move away from it. This dildo is scary as you could probably die on that. You know, especially since raft, rafts, whole rafts are getting pinned right on that rock and then getting swamped is just like that's, that's a gnarly feature. And you can just break break bones and stuff. But anyway, postage due. Uh, box box of uh, box canyon right there and uh, hell yeah. So now, now you get into no man's like the upper gully is pretty straightforward on figuring out. But now look at this. You just have a whole corridor of like nothingness. And uh, so now we really have to zoom out because we're going to go over the whole lower gully too. All right. So, uh, so hell yeah. So you have, um, okay. So this is Mason branch right here. It's just screaming. So, so you have Mason Branch and you have this meadow up here. This is the kayaker's meadow where you can hike out and go do it. You know what I mean? Park up there and you don't even have to, 
your shuttle is just way easier and you get a cool hike. Uh, but anyway, so from from uh, Sweets Falls, like what do you have? Well, look at this. So you can just use these topos and be like, hey, that's a known rapid, that's a known rapid, and then everything else is just, you know, unknown. So anyway, and then so we have here, this is Thumper, and then this is Nemesis. Nemesis is pretty cool. I mean, just kind of iconic. So after uh, so after after Sweets Falls, you do have really boulder choked kind of class one. It's pretty cool through. You can just take different channels, big triangle rock somewhere in there, and then hell yeah! So you got that Thumper and Nemesis. Thumpers enter way over here on the left, and then work your way down. So from the topo, you can kind of easily see that. Well, maybe not. I mean, if you were just going into this rapid, it's, it's really hard to figure out, like, where the hell do I go? I got a big rock outcropping in the middle. I don't know if I go right or left. You'll probably be do just fine over here on the right, but the classic is go to the left and then work your way down uh, this tongue right here and hit hit a big thumping wave. Any rapid named Thumper, know that it's just going to be jarring. That's all that means. All right, so we have uh, Nemesis. Nemesis has got the classic... Uh, oh, move between these two rocks. You have a teapot drop over here in a kayak, maybe an R2 raft, but then you have a tea, uh, then you have the classic nemesis in between these two boulders. And look at this. So look at this line from here to there. You really want left to right momentum. It's not just go through these boulders because you, you got backed up by those rocks too. So it's it's a left to right. Or this is a pretty cool hit over here on nemesis uh, too. All right, so hell yeah. So now from nemesis... We go to that Mason Branch uh, takeout, which is right there. So there's a takeout from Mason Branch, just kind of a, a mellow class one right before it. But hell yeah, even Dane Jackson, he'll 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 be do, doing some ends on that wave and that wave. So it's just kind of cool to go to these unnamed rapids and then uh, kind of see what they look like, so you can maybe classically get a, a view of like, oh, I, I know where I'm at, and then just right there. Mason branch. So now we have to use that kind of modality to run the lower golly, else you're just going to be super lost. We're not on the lower golly, we're on the middle golly. So this could still be part of your upper golly trip. So after Mason branch, we have Gillespie's hole. So, and if we go forward, there's, oh, so here's, and here's, um, here's a, a Woods Ferry Rapid with Julius Juicer at the bottom, um, and then Woods Ferry Takeout. Um, and then we do have a couple more, but look at these little small things. You know, you, you wouldn't think of anything of them, but Gillespie's Hole is a decent rapid. So just, just know that, hey, hell, hell yeah. So that's going to be the next one. A lot of unnamed, not even doing this, just a straight corridor until this corner Gillespie's Hole. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. So Gillespie's Hole is an enter on your left. And see, just looking at this is just amazing because you're just like, oh, I see this horseshoe of wholeness. And I can enter way over here on the left, or or hit a little piece of this hole. Um, but now I'm in, now I'm following the green water, and I'm going all the way to the right. So there you go. Here's Gillespie's hole. So uh, you know, if you if you're just running away from things on the upper golly, yeah, like work your way far to the right and avoid this hole. Uh, it'll surf a raft, and uh, they don't even surf it commercially because it it might, it might be a little sticky beast. All right, so uh, hell yeah. So now we're gonna. We're going to do the view where if like, hey, if I exited Gillespie's, I'm kind of angled this way, and here's my straightaway, and then what's the next thing? Well, so see, see isn't this view just way better, because I'll be going down this corridor, some some unnamed stuff, but just, uh, hey, we're on the middle golly. Um, but I do have this rapid and that rapid, and even I have to go to here, I think it's Chicken Ender, so we got, uh, so I'll go, so now I got, well, let's go to the lower golly now. No, I, th I still think we're on the upper golly. I apologize, but so yeah, we're on the upper golly. We we did uh, Gillespie's hole. Yeah, chicken under. Um, you know what I mean. And uh, if you look at the footage of, so we got chicken ender and then fuzzy box of kittens because that's that's on on the because we're going from the upper to the lower. But it's still middle golly. But it's just in this. This is fuzzy box of kittens and then Woods Ferry. All right. So hell yeah. So now we have. Uh, Oh, get, get the get the good good. All right, so there you go. So we have uh, chicken ender. It's got this rock. So in the in, in the video, this is this is the one where I me mean, even this rapid. It's just good to have a topo because you're just like, oh okay, because this is the one where you go up on this rock and you do a little spin. But anyway, there there you go. Oh, and then this one has a wide hole that you want to stay away. From. 
Like, this is the feature in a raft on the upper gully to avoid, like, a plague. Go surf some dynamic hole that's going to flip you. Go surf at diagonal ledges. Go surf at, at the bottom of insignificant, even in a rapid. But do not go put your raft into a sticky hole that can body surf swimmers. You know, this thing doesn't look like much at river level, but it's like you might not be able to swim out of it you know, I mean, they can just be retentive, uh, depending on the flow, and it, it's just, it's just featured, I swear, I, I think I put my raft in here, and just was just unaware of the dangers of, of small, ridiculous pour-overs that don't look like much at all, but it's just like, they're just to be avoided, and, uh, okay, hell yeah, so then after that, you have the f fluffy box of, fuzzy box of kittens, and, uh, hell yeah, and go, go do your thing. Go flip off that because you just have days of pool. You know what I mean? And then, uh, well, 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 you got uh, you got enough pool until uh, until Woods Ferry. So there you go. Around the corners, Woods Ferry. That's classic golly. If you have a nasty corner, just a real sharp corner, like the insignificance around a corner. So yeah, it's just very fascinating how all the rapids are around. I don't think it's fascinating. I think it's just geology. A lot of rapids are like that. They they form at very you know, like choked off places or on the on the Grand Canyon. They form when a when a river enters, a tributary enters because it chokes the rapid. But anyway, so all these get uh, formed at the, at a corner, probably just a higher energy place. All right, so hell yeah. So uh, this is significant. This is a big class four. So you have these pocket holes at the top. I, I just run away from them and tried to... You're going to have to at least hit this one, you know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, find your way through this top wave, but do probably stay away from these two holes if you can avoid both those. You know, maybe hit the shoulder of this one. But yeah, you just, you just want to stay upright at the top. Big hits, big hits, um, big big waves. And then these are more holes, though, these right ones. Uh, you know, so... But else big wave wave hits and big wave hole hits. And then down here you have the elevator shaft on that side. Uh, right, right there, I think. Just big old, and, and the big old wave into the elevator shaft. I think that's this wave into that drop right there. And that's right over the juicer, so be careful. I, I just I just stay way left and avoid everything. But anyway, and then Julie's juicer right off there. Okay, so now now we're basically, that's the middle golly, because we have Woods Ferry. So there's the takeout, and we're going to zoom out. Here's your first little wave. Now, what's that called? What's that called? So it's Ender's Waves. So uh, i got to see if someone's here. No, freaking out. All right, so we have Ender's Waves. And uh, and this starts the lower golly, you know. This is so middle golly is done, lower golly, Ender's waves, and then what's the next thing we come to? Um, see, see, it's like you won't, you wouldn't even. Does this count as a rapid? No, you know. So let's let's get to Ender's waves. We'll get to the Woods Ferry takeout, and we'll do the lower golly. So that's that's why that's I even started this video just wanting it to be just about the lower golly. But, uh, okay, so you have Ender's Waves, real classic, left side, and then just a straight wave train. Like, this, this is a totally read-and-run rapid. I mean, that, that's what you should be able to identify from a topo, that this rapid is completely read-and-run. There is no boulders, you know, there's no maze of boulders to figure out what channel to go through. It's just, you can just obviously see uh, at the top, you can see the tail waves at the bottom. So this is your... Typically, what we would consider class three, even though class three, because you can run this, that's a class three, does not make you a class three boater, you know what I mean? Class three is a, is a range up to class four, so there's a lot of, uh, see, so yeah, that, that's what the, I think the mistake that people get, because else this is class one, you know what I mean? I mean, for the love of God, you know, it's not even class two. Okay. But, uh, okay, so now, now now this is an unnamed rapid, you know what I mean? Because we're, we're doing the lower golly, so we have unnamed, 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 unnamed. Well, yeah, you have just a mile of, like, you know, let's let's pop out our ruler. I mean, holy Toledo. From, from that first one to this corner is one and a half miles. That's crazy. And this is Chainsaw, so that's going to be our first back to a, our named rapid on this list. Of like, hey, we got Fuzzy Box, Woods Ferry, Ender's Waves. Now we got, and that's the that's the Woods Ferry put in, Ender's Waves, Chainsaw. 
and so chainsaws down there. So yeah, you will we'll, we'll just uh yeah, we'll kind of look at these. So yeah, this is unnamed, but yeah, straightforward. So we can kind of see what's straightforward. Straightforward, straightforward. All right, even this. Yeah, just kind of straightforward. Um, but you'll just lose track of where the hell you are. You know, you're like, I don't even know where I'm at. But now Ender's Waves. I mean, then there's Chainsaw. So kind of a, a, a diagonal, ledgy, drop, rapid, you know what I mean? And then find your way down the center, watch the video or whatever. Who cares? All right, so now, even from Chainsaw, this is an unnamed rapid. This is unnamed. This is unnamed. And this one even looks like back ender because the next one is back ender and i think it has a name that uh it sounds like the others like um um like what was the other like uh ender's waves you know what I mean? it sounds like ender's waves which is just a class one you know what i mean class class three class three class one and then this is back ender which is a class four so you're like whoa like i didn't even realize that just because the name sounded dumb uh, or just similar to the boring class three. So it's just like, no. So from Chainsaw, yeah, unnamed, 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 but look at that. So yeah, Backender is a fun, fun, yeah, it's like buckle up because you have Backender and then Coons Flumes is your class five. And then you have your uh, Canyon Doors. And then, and, and then, yeah, maybe less significant is your Junkyard. So you have Junkyard and then kind of the full picture. Um, a lot, like again, just a lot of... Uh, nothing till you get to upper mash lower mash diagonal ledges then you get to around this corner this is heaven help you after heaven help you uh this is rocky top this is the one of those ones you're just like for the love of god i don't i don't know that one but we'll look at it and from a topo you can be like oh now i know a rocky top very very maze like at the top um but then real easy just go to the far right you know what i mean and then so yeah rocky top unnamed but then you have your upper and lower staircase this is your kind of your your fun long uh uh roller coaster rapids but then even after that you have like roller coaster and see if i can get these right uh cliff side because you have to go all the way up against this cliff side then you have uh i, be I bet you i got that wrong did i get did i get upper lower Roller coaster, cliffside. Yeah, no, no, I, I'm, I'm good. Because here's an island, and then so this is rattlesnake. So rattlesnake, and then this is uh, rooster tail because it's got a, a, and then your, and then your um, pure screaming hell. But th the lower golly, you know, just because it's a read and run river, is very difficult to wrap your mind around where the rapids are, and then the what's in between rapids, and then like, can I not get lost? So we started at the put in. We went, we went through Ender's Waves. We had all this unnamed to Chainsaw. And then Chainsaw, we have this all this unnamed to Back Ender. And then, so we'll look at the unnamed rapids between Chainsaw. So there's Chainsaw again. And then we have this one, unnamed, unnamed. This one even kind of looks like Back Ender because it's down the right side, but it'd be like a mini Back Ender. Because this is the real deal. This is class four, you know what I mean? Steep drop. Um, enter right channel, go down this drop, and then big, big, big wave, like wave, wave hit at the top, wave hit at the bottom. There you go. But really big wave hit at the bottom, hit it on the right side. Hell yeah, have a good time. All right, so from back ender, now you got your Coons Flume. This is your classic, you know, well, I guess it's not a super sharp corner, um, but this whole thing is Coons Bent. You know what I mean? So you have, I mean, you have like this wood fairy. That's definitely a distinct bend. And now you do get bends in the river because the upper golly typically doesn't have like a whole lot. I guess, I guess here, here is pillow rock, you know, so you kind of have the pillow rock kind of bend through there. And then, uh, I mean, pillow rocks right here. So in, in, your insignificance, your first corner, insignificant pillow rock, that might be considered a bend. Um, uh, or, or, uh, now I don't even know what the hell I'm saying, but, uh, um, what, what are these? I, I forget where it, I swear it's in the name, like, uh, whoa, 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 getting off track. Anyway, so let's, let's go back to, uh, Backender, and we're gonna run Coon Sloom. Yeah, so in between Backender... There's just, you know, nothing, but hell yeah, Coons Flume is a, a big class five. 
But it's just got a ton of holes. It's got holes at the top, you know what I mean? So if you're in a small, like I'm in small rafts, I don't want to flip over. So it's just like, if, if, if the name of the game for me might be just avoid this hole. But no, I got, I got skills that I actually want to run this hole, and I can. And, and if I do flip, you know, I'm fine. I know what this rapid is, and I, I can self-rescue. But else, if you're terrified, hell no. Just, just, just work your way left of this hole, and then make your move. I would probably make your move back to the right. You could just work your way left, and then keep going left, and then try to finish on the left side of five-boat hole. But if you do pull, pull, put a raft in here, it could surf for days. You know what I mean? I don't, you're not going to body surf, but your raft might surf. And you could flip on five-boat hull, you know what I mean, if you were sideways on it. So just just know that. Else, you could probably just punch it in a big old raft. Uh, in, in my raft, no, it'd be it'd be sticky. It'd be stickier than this thing at the top. Well, uh, about the same, about the same equivalent. But I'd have to punch that hole. Hell yeah. Okay, so now you got Canyon Doors after Kuntz Flume. And I guess the only one that would be out of place would be like, who the hell knows junkyards right there? You know what I mean? But after junkyard, yeah, and again, you just have nothing until uh, upper mash, lower mash. And those are just a one, two. Uh, kind of bouldery for uh, bouldery for upper, and then lower mash is that um, big old wave down the left side, backed up by a dangerous ledge system that juts out that you need to get to the right of. So that's lower mash. All right, we'll get to that in a second, though. So, uh, hell yeah. So, Coons Flume down to Canyon Doors. And this is where you can see these canyon walls. Beautiful place. That's typically, you know what I mean, you made it if you're in the lower gully. All right, so there you go. And, uh, yeah, typically down the right side, kind of right, you know, not far right, but there you go. And then uh, just avoid... Yeah, just take it down the right. It's fun. It's fun. Um, it is, like, even commercially, they were saying, like, because my guy took me over, like, this drop in the center, and he's just like, yeah, we weren't supposed to do that. So that was cool. That was cool. But you just know it's, uh, yeah, just more hazardous, I guess. I, I guess the only hazard I think is getting wrapped up on those two rocks else. else. But these, these are just, like, kind of droppity drops. So there you go. All right, so you got... Uh, and if you're from Western Rivers and have never done pool drop, you know, system, ledge drop, like a system, then, yeah, the, the, that that's going to be new to you on the golly. And also just the maze of boulders. Looking at a rapid and you're like, dude, all I see is boulders. Um, that, that does get kind of frustrating where you're just like, I don't even know the line through here. So here's Junkyard. Typically work your way to the right, go down this right side, and then back to the middle. Uh, but I'm sure you could take it down the left, too. I'm sure the video states that, too. All right, but hell yeah. I mean, basically, we just want to know the rapid names and the orders. That's kind of what we're doing. And by going to a rapid we know and then zooming out and be like, well, oh, yeah, after this, I'm going to be taking this right line, going down a huge corridor, crossing the railroad bridge. And uh, and if you kind of want, it is good to know where the railroad is um, because... Uh, now, now I have to kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so on the upper gully, the railroad is on the right side. Um, so let, let me zoom out and just kind of explain that. So on the upper gully, the railroad, the railroad goes through a tunnel right at this, uh, why, why am I spacing? Is it, is it, is it called a Kuntz bend? Just a, like, a, is, is that, is that, is that what these bends are called? Kuntz bends? But anyway. Uh, they all call Coons, but anyway, so the railroad's on this river left side, so it's on this side, river left side, and it's on the river left all the way from the meadow. So the, the railroad comes down the meadow river, if I'm getting that right, because it, there's no railroad from the from the Puddin to Meadow. But then the railroad's on this river right side all the way down the upper gully, the whole of the upper gully, uh, past Woods Ferry, all the way down to Coons Bend, and then cuts through a tunnel right right at Coons Bend, and then pops out the other side. And I I swear there's another railroad track that comes in probably right, right down this uh, Peters Creek. But, uh, and I'm sure that's, maybe not though, maybe not. Maybe that's just a, yeah, well, no, no, old railroad, you know what I mean, but that's the signature railroad. But anyway, so what am I saying? After after, after Canyon Doors Junkyard, you have a big straightaway, a bridge. Do not get your 
boat near the bridge pillars, you can there, there's metal that sticks out on those piers. Someone has popped a boat, so just FYI. But anyway, and then you're gonna go around this 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 next bend to uh, to upper mash, lower mash, and then so we kind of need since we're angled this way. Now you're gonna do upper, lower mash. No, so upper and lower just right here. Diagonal ledges. Come around another corner. Heaven help you. Um, and then uh, did I get that right? Uh, yep, yeah, but now I'm spacing on what this, oh, this is that rocky top. Yeah, rocky top. This is the unknown. This is your upper and lower staircase, um, roller coaster. You know what I mean? This is one to forget about. You know what I mean? Just, just all these. One, two, three, four, four rapids to forget about until pure screaming hell after you've done the fun ones. So it's just good to know what the upper golly, hell yeah, you came to work your way down the boulder pile of the upper mash and then and then run this huge wave on lower mash and crush it and then avoid the the death ledge that sticks out, especially at higher flows. Holy hell. And then you want to go surf at diagonal ledges and have fun there for a while. And then heaven help you, that's going to be your class five. I don't know what. But anyway, you got to go through the gates. Uh, and that's a fun move. And then, yeah, Rocky Top, who knows about that one? Um, this is an unnamed, but hell yeah. Then you have upper and lower staircase. This is the classic lower golly because you have just long, fun roller coaster r rapids. So this, this is where clients are going to have the most fun. And you didn't come, you came, to, uh, you know, if you're going to go to the upper golly, most people just come to it to check off a notch on their belt. But from a class five mindset is you came to the upper golly to have fun because it has like the most fun play waves. I mean, you can, it, it, it's a play to play to play rivers paradise, even on the lower. Hell yeah. You have, you have plenty of surf opportunities, plenty of pocket holes. Um, so hell yeah. Um, I, I think this year's the year that I might go down there. So even though the social scene is just, I, I don't know. I'm a loner. And we're working on that, but uh, it's too it's too much for me. I, I would rather, uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. It just seems intimidating. It doesn't have to be like when you when you have skills, you know what I mean? People might respect you a little bit more. But I don't, until they know who you are, you know what I mean? I think think you get judged. No, nah, no, nah, uh, the Appalachia is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty safe place. But anyway, um, pretty friendly. All right, so uh, it's still intense though. You know, I, it's intense for anyone. Just any river that's massively overrun by boaters, it's a hell of an intense place for most people. Anyway, so hell yeah. So now, we're, where are we at? So we did, uh, so this is the upper mash. So we got done with, uh, we, we, yeah, canyon doors. And then, yeah, I just explained canyon doors, junkyard, all the way there. And then we have a railroad. And now we have a railroad on the right side. Upper mash, hell yeah, kind of work your way in the center, you know what I mean, kind of finish on this shoot. Yeah, it's technical, Techn you do you, yep, but uh, once you get down here, you know, this is the thing you'll see from, that you'll you'll see in some end, uh, videos, but you don't know, like, where these spots are. So after upper mash, hell yeah, you have Big Eddie on the right, you can chill out here, but all the kayakers will just, you know, catch up in this eddy right here along the bank. And then just wait for their turn to get through lower mash. And it's a good place to scout because you do have a huge wave. Rate. This might be the biggest wave on the... the and it can flip your boat in a raft. And it, all your people are going to go right up against this. Now, this is one of those just like, hell yeah. Like, well, are you going to try to avoid the wave on the left? And then work your way and try to get by these boulders? Or just like, hey, you came to do the lower golly too crush this wave the more you crush this wave center and to the right and try to flip your boat the less likely all swimmers will probably just peel off to this right side you know what i mean so keep that in mind unless you know at, at a traditional fall flow the second this thing is juicing juicing oh hell no then then you then you actually just go over here on the right side drop this noise and just stay the hell away from this this is a death death trap especially at higher flows um anyway so cool. So that's a lower mash. And uh, and now lower mash. Oh yeah, lower mash to diagonal ledges. And you can kind of see the diagonal ledges. So, you know, even just from that perspective, it's just like, oh, I never thought of looking at a topo um, to actually understand a river so well. 
And then so, hell yeah, diagonal, it just looks like a fun place to be too. Diagonal ledges down here. And, oh, let's get back to fall flow. We, 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 no, 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 that, that was, this is, this is fall flow, I guess. The, the, this footage isn't quite fall flow, but you can see, like, I, I, I forget which is the surf wave. I would consider, but even from the topo, I know exactly what the surf wave is because it, Diagonal Edges has a huge eddy access for kayakers. So all the kayakers easily will eddy, eddy access right here and just feed into... That's why this is just the numero uno surf wave in the west. Diagonal Edges. Hell yeah. And then right here, this is an off angle wave. And it doesn't have... It doesn't look like it has very good eddy access. So th there you go. There, there's your wave. There is your wave. All right, and then, uh, so from Diagonal Ledges, you have uh, Heaven Help You. So, yeah, just a huge, it's kind of like a, like a lot of the big, big, uh, like, insignificant, um, even First Drop, Lost Paddle, uh, Woods Ferry, just wide, uh, all the water comes sweeping in and then chokes up to uh, bigger features. And then, so that's what we have on uh, Heaven Help You. And, uh, yes, you can do the lower golly at, at, at higher flows than just fall flow so just keep that in mind because this thing this thing juices up this is like a mandatory flip at the bottom at, at really high flows it was in my little 10 foot raft but anyway so we have uh yeah just kind of pick your way i don't know if you'd pick your way to the left or right but that, that's why we have this you know you click it down to a lower it's still kind of hard to tell but you know maybe i'd probably this looks kind of where the flow is going far left instead of down the right but you do you and uh and hell yeah here's the gates you have kind of like a, a guard rock on the right so you can't just go right you have to go kind of splitting right through there and look at this so so even from this this angle you can see from a topo that this wave train angles from the right to the left and kind of aims right for this so you would need if you're in this wave train you're going right for this rock and flipping on it. You know what I mean? None, none of this angle is to the fully to the right side of it. So you have to either break at the top. So yeah, this is just a, a way. And any, and you should know from a class three or four perspective that once you're locked into a wave train, it's very difficult to move laterally out of it. So this is stuff that you want to set up up here, left to right momentum. Maybe hit the right side of this uh, lateral. And then kind of get yourself just chilling, and then like a villain, and then you'll just be just just crush, you know, just like yeah, it's such an easy move. But yeah, this this is this is class three, you know. Even though this is kind of your class five on the, this is this is like in uh, if it didn't have dire consequences of like flipping and dying on undercut rocks, like this is your this is your Montana class three class four. Oh, people, maybe people are sending me nasty comments on my comedy. Who knows? Uh, who knows what that was? Anyway, but uh, hopefully not. Hopefully, hopefully they like it. But anyway, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, this this is your class three three move. Class three kind of class four ish move to be like, oh, I need to get left to right momentum, and I need to break a lateral at the top of a wave train. So I'm not in the wave train. I'm on kind of the seam. Of, of this uh, wave train so th there you go anyway all right what's the next one we're almost ready to finish off this uh this whole upper and lower yeah we're doing really good and that's the thing when researching rapids like i usually get to the fourth rapid and then just get bored as hell so anyway so yeah especially the lower i've actually never gotten through the lower without just falling asleep anyway i mean no i'm just because it's confusing because you're just like what the hell comes next and 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 like these unnamed rapids in between mess you up. But anyway, we have Rocky Top, and so uh, and so let's let's look at the bigger view because we have uh, Heaven Help You, Rocky Top, unnamed, and then we have the Upper and Lower Staircase. So those are our fun ones, and then and then four four very basic rapids before um, Screaming Astern. All right, so hell yeah, so we have Heaven's Gate and Rocky Top. Now, uh, yeah, this is such a boulder jumble, especially at, uh, I don't know if that gives it, does it better justice, but yeah, I mean, just a rapid like this, you're just like, what? Like, where do I even go? Do I go down the left side? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but in this one, no, you, do, do I go down this far right side? 
Well, hell yeah, in my 10-foot raft, if I got this topo, and I'm just, I just want to take the safest thing possible, not that I, I do, but I mean, that mindset, sometimes I definitely have that mindset where I'm just like, dude, what's, what's the safest thing through here? Because maybe I want to make an educational video as well to be like, hell yeah, just, just drop in right here, but here's your kayak, 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 kayak. So your traditional line, and in the video, um, the ace video is you're going down this chute right here. And could you see that from this footage? You know what I mean? Maybe you're just looking at this and you're like, well, maybe there's something there. I'm sure there is. You know what I mean? But it's definitely more technical. Like th this is your situation. Like you wouldn't want to go wrap up on that rock. That looks like death because you, you have like a, 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 a drop into a hole backed up by a rock, you know what I mean, so that, that that looks nasty, to get pinned up on that rock right there, but anyway, so the classic line is just take this channel, and you can see that, because you do have a, you know, a significant tongue channel, some green water in this tongue, and definitely just more green river right here, so that, that, that's one thing, can you connect, can you connect all the green, like I definitely see green line all the way through there, it's just low and shallow, so then what's the next best? Well, right there. And even though that we got some white whiteness, hey, it's still a train. You know what I mean? This this just ends. You know what I mean? You have a drop that ends. So keep that in mind. There's no water outflowing out of this. Not that it's dangerous, but I've already identified some dangers. So that's how you can look at topos to be like, oh, I get it a little bit. And that's Rocky Top. All right, so we said rocky top to an unnamed, and we got a little, and then, oh yeah, upper and lower staircase, so that'll be fun to get to. So there you go. We're going to look at this unnamed. Oh, yeah, yeah, and even this unnamed. Yeah, this is big enough that it looks like it should have a name. Hell yeah, I think this is big fucking rock, you know, BFR. That is a huge rock, you know what I mean? So this, this is, uh, I think you, I don't know, on the trip I was, I don't think we ever, like, jumped up on, this BFR and jumped off. It might, I don't know if it's too shallow. We we did some other jumping uh, after Gillespie's hole. So uh, hell yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we have uh, yeah. So you got you know, we got channels over here. Looks like the main channel might be down this center. That looks like the funnest one. So anyway, it's just good to know because else if you come across that, you're like, oh, dude, I did not see this in my research, and now I'm just lost and confused. So anyway, and then we have this yeah very classic long rapids wave trains very fun upper and lower staircase so we're going to look at upper first all right hell yeah you know what i mean and yeah white water white water white and you kind of see the the ripples of the waves and if you're looking at these at a topo hell yeah they're good size so yeah so upper yeah good hit right there for sure and just more wave trains and uh and then let's just go to lower Lower, kind of same thing. Here's your big hit, very lateral hit, you know what I mean? So it looks like you want to come in with some right to left. So you can even see that from this footage. Right to left momentum, hit that peak of that lateral right there, and then just continue down a nice wave train. This is just more fun waves to hit. So there you go. But that there's your big one, and you can see that from the topo. All right, so if we're here, what's the next thing? So we got from uh, lower staircase... That probably looks unnamed. No, no, this is unnamed. This is roller coaster. So we have roller coaster. We have to do this cliffside up against the cliffside. Uh, this has an island. So that's what I remember as rattlesnake. I consider this island to be the tail of a rattlesnake. That's just the way I can remember rattlesnake. And uh, I don't know. Like on the golly, when you're riverside, you will, you probably will notice a little island with a tree on it. You know what I mean? That is a feature that you can see from river level. Even though the Appalachia and the Gali, holy, holy Lord, everything looks the same. It's just, it looks like a, a pile of rocks and, uh, and then green, you know what I mean? Green forest is coming from Montana. That is the one thing that messes with me. It's just, I don't even know where I am. It's like being on a different planet. Okay. So, and then you have, uh, this, this one is rooster tail. It's got this rock at the bottom. We can actually go to this view. It's this triangle one right there. It sticks out like a sharp ass triangle and uh, we'll fill it in with water. And it, yeah, it's, it's, well, it's either that one or that one. I, I don't know now. 
Yeah, maybe it's just this one down here. It's either one of these, but uh, hell yeah, don't hit it because uh, you'll just hit a rock. It looks like a wave, but it's just it's a triangle rock. So anyway, all right, let's, let's, let's get to it. So we did upper, lower staircase. We're going to go over to this one called Roller Coaster. And hell yeah, we're, we are so close to finishing this tour of the upper and lower golly. But this, this is how I would research any any river, and you, you can, like, just within an hour, you can run the whole thing. And I would spend more. I, I spend, like, sometimes five hours doing this stuff, watching videos, seeing if I can relate rapids. And it's, it's, it's better than running it, you know what I mean? Doing, like, just running with your buddy, like, uh, that has done it, and then just following their lines. Like, I did, did that on the lower golly, and actually, I, I didn't know anything, you know what I mean? It's just like, I, I actually did enough, I did research before going down to the golly, like, 10 years ago, and then, uh, uh, I was just like, oh, my research sucks. Th this is totally different from what I had my perspective on. That's why you need to watch a lot of, um, point of view kayak footage where you're on river level, because that is literally all you're gonna see. So it's fine to get the overhead view and get a better understanding, but what you're going to see is that river level. So all kayak footage is really good. And if you can't, if you can't understand kayak footage, well, then you haven't put the full pieces of the puzzle together. But, uh, and this doesn't seem opposite of kayak footage because this stuff doesn't change. You can be like, oh, I'm down the center. And you're not going to notice that from kayak footage. If you're just kayaking, you don't know if the kayaker is here or, or over here. Sometimes it's hard to gauge where a kayaker is in the rapids. So this is just full. So you have roller coaster. Hell yeah, just a nice little wave train. All right, let's get on with it. We have, uh, what, four? Oh, well, we got this cliffside. You know what I mean? So we, even up at cliffside, we'll... We'll go to, uh, so th there you go. So you go here, down this left side, down this left side, and then even finish kind of farther down that left. So hell yeah, there's, it's probably got to run down the right, but it's called cliffside. You can run it down the left. Um, that's, that's the classic for your cliffside. So we're going to zoom in on that. Okay. And then, uh. Yeah, so that is, I'm making guides where it's just like, hell yeah. What you want to know is like the rapid, get a close-up, but then you want to know where the next rapid is. So we got cliffside to rattlesnake. I see the island, I go to the left, and, and there you go. So hell yeah. All right, so we have, uh, we have rattlesnake. There you go. And uh, nice little hits at the bottom. Now this one has two channels, and even in the Ace video, you'll see them hit this wave. You know what I mean? You could probably work your butt over to this wave too and hit hit both of them. But if you take this left channel, you're going to be hitting this one. See how this right channel? You know you could uh, work your way and hit this right wave too. So uh, so there you go. You can probably hit both. But yeah, pretty pretty good hits in there. So watch the video. Um, anyway. All right. So then you have uh, that was rattlesnake because you had the island. I'm identifying the island with the tree to be kind of like the rattlesnake tail uh, that's a pretty good anyway so then now you have this last last easy rapid you have uh uh um i can look it up faster than i remember it rooster tail okay so and then you have pure screaming hill and then we're out oh, oh, oh this one's got two though this is cool so rooster tail i i guess i don't put together that rooster tail is also because being in this lower golly is really cool once you get through rooster tail you go through these and then th this is something that you can't put in perspective from a topo you you see these rocks and they just look like pebble-sized rocks but this is a huge riverbed and it is called the like uh, Isle of the Isle of the Giants or whatever or whatever they say in the video, um, but yeah, land yeah, it's super cool. And yeah, you just boat through, and you could just boat up and around these rocks, and there's just no flow through, so there's no danger of undercut. But it's just it's a magical place through here. This is really cool. And I always think I always thought this was after Pier Screaming Hell, so not to confuse you. But now there's nothing after Pier Screaming Hell. Maybe this little. Uh, well, one, one rapid, I don't even think that's named, and then the takeout, so, and then the takeout's way the hell down there. We'll get to it, we'll do it again, though, but even the takeout is just like, look at this feature, you know what I mean? Really brushy, like, kind of half corner through, like, br like, you would recognize that, so that, that is one thing. Here's the lower golly takeout at Swiss, so that's the other thing, is just like, when you're running river, it's just like, dude, I don't even know what the takeout would be. Look at all this green, you won't even know where the hell you were. And uh, then once you're down here, you're just like, oh, we we messed up. Um, so anyway, so that's a very significant feature for the takeout. 
And uh, so now we can just end on pure screaming help now that I went over the takeout. And uh, maybe we'll go over this last, you know, this is an, this is an unnamed rapid, whoop, 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 so stuff's falling. Okay, so yeah, unnamed rapid looks pretty straightforward. Okay, but let's let's get let's let's uh, do pure screaming hell. So we went through rooster tail, um, hell yeah, land of the giants, isle of the gods, or whatever it's called, and then uh, pure screaming hell. Now, plenty of ways to mess this up. You'll know if you're a class three boater if you mess this up. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's like, or you just, or you just know you're a class three boater that's not terrified of going. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so so I guess I don't know. Pure screaming hell. You'll you'll flip everyone if you hit this with a raft. You know, if you if you square it, and you got undercut boulders over here on the right. You know that that that's the other thing. It's like any swimmers. It's like hell no. You you be swimming to the left. Um, but then even this, a kayaker like hit the whole swam, and then uh, he 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 had to he swam up against this undercut. Like, and then see that that's just the that's the class three move where you just like you don't I you don't know the dangers because no way would did that kayaker ever look at this topo and be like oh yeah if I swam here what would be the dangers below pure screaming hell I don't think anyone put this as a danger you know but but yeah this kayaker swam and he's swimming right towards it and he doesn't think to like oh no I, I don't want to lose my life and get swept under this boulder. Um, because you literally will like like if you get sucked under these boulders, like you it's the same as getting foot in trap. Where you're just like, oh, I'll just I'll just like push against the current, and it's like no. Once your body gets entrapped in a little cave, you would have to. It would be worse than a low head dam. And I don't think people realize this. Like you would have to potentially swim against or fight against what's pushing you in. To like a, a, a chalked up place, you know what I mean, and and it, it's just it ain't gonna happen in the three panicky seconds that uh, is gonna take your, you know what I mean. So it's just, it's just like it's just it's good to wrap your mind around those things to set those as real hazards because that's the thing is just like the golly goes back and forth to be like ah oh, it's an easy river and it's just like uh um but it's consequential. Like you, there, there, there's, there's bigger wave rivers that are so less. Like I run the Locksaw, the main stretch of the Locks. I love it because it's probably the lowest consequence class four river you can ever do. It'd be, it'd be bottom of the level class four for how big the features are. You know what I mean? And it's just, and then the Golly can be the opposite. You can run the most smooth line, the Golly, and people will be like, whoa, that was. That felt like class two from a passenger's perspective, um, but the hazards are still there. They're class five, um, so that, that that's where if you go to the golly, you want to you know you should be you should you shouldn't be going just to notch your belt. You should be going to uh, stylize it. You know what I mean? Do do your thing. Okay. So anyway, so pure screaming hell. Enter the right. Uh, you do have a big. You want to hit that hole. So anyway, everything is pushing to the left, and if you make your moves early, yeah, you can just avoid this hole. This hole is going to mess you up, you know what I mean, too. And so this would be a good marker hole. Be like, hey, at least hit the V on the left side of this. And you got a lot of current pushing to the right through here, you know what I mean? So that, that is, in a kayak, not a big thing, but in a raft, yeah, you, you'll probably mess it up your first time. Hit this hole, swim everyone, uh, but everyone will be fine. You know what I mean? It'll be fun. Anyway, that's the upper and lower golly. Holy hell, we did it. And uh, hopefully this recorded, because I ain't doing this again. But no, no, no. I, I was just glad. What was that, an hour? Hopefully it wasn't too much longer than an hour. But uh, hell yeah, we did the upper. And it's just fascinating, yeah, that the the, the lower golly, the upper, the, the golly flows into the new river. And the new river, here, here's your here's your bridge to get to Summersville. But anyway, so here here's your Fayette Station. Here's your Fayette Station, you know, and here's your lower new run. And the new river is just fascinating. You have a lot of class one, class two through the preserve. Some fun, just nice boating, just scenic. And the new river goes all the way through the Appalachia. You know, starts on, it's way deep. You know, the new river is pretty wild. But the Gala is a little bit shorter. 
and uh, you know watershed. But anyway, so that is the upper and lower golly. Thanks for joining me. Hell yeah, maybe you'll see me out there this fall. So anyway, all right. Thanks for joining me, and that's a video.